Russia preparing to transfer Marines from Pacific Fleet to Vobchansk area due to heavy losses. The Russian forces suffer heavy losses during the battles for Vovchansk in the Kharkiv region and are preparing to deploy Marines from the Pacific Fleet. This refers to a brigade stationed more than 9,000 kilometers from the combat zone, according to Nazar Volashin, the spokesperson for the Operational Strategic Grouping of Troops, Kortizia. According to him, the Ukrainian Defense Forces are facing the 138th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade, the 83rd Separate Air Assault Brigade, and the 30th Motorized Rifle Regiment in Vovchansk. At the same time, Russia plans to deploy units from the 155th Separate Marine Brigade from the Pacific Fleet and units belonging to the 25th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade of the 6th Army from the Leningrad Military District to perform tasks in that direction. It is worth noting that the 155th Separate Guards Marine Brigade is stationed in the city of Vladivostok and the village of Slavyanka in the Primorsky Krai. The distance to Bobchansk is approximately 9,300 kilometers. Voloshin explained that the Russian forces had suffered significant losses during nearly a month and a half of fighting for Vovchansk. The number is over 4,000 eliminated soldiers. Now the Russian military leadership is trying to replenish their forces involved in this direction with groups located near the borders of Ukraine as well as military groups located within the territory of the Russian Federation. Over a month ago, Russian forces attempted to capture the town in the northern parts of the Kharkiv region, but they only managed partial advancement. Ukrainian forces are counter-attacking in this direction. Vovchansk was the first big target of Russia's northern offensive, which kicked off on May the 10th with simultaneous attacks in several places along Ukraine's northern border with Russia. But the Russian northern grouping of forces, tens of thousands of soldiers strong, never got past the industrial town four miles south of the border. Several Ukrainian brigades, including the 82nd Air Assault Brigade, raced north to meet the Russians. Rearmed with American munitions, the Ukrainians fought the Russians street by street, building by building, and halted their advance in late May. Russian vessels launched missiles in the coast of Florida state of U.S. Recently, dozens of Havana residents gathered and watched as Russian warships sailed into Cuba's main harbor in the latest display of naval strength by Moscow amid heightened tensions with the United States. The Caribbean nation is a neighbor of the U.S., which at its closest point is just about 150 kilometers away but have had tense relations for decades. While it is not the first time Russian Navy ships have visited Cuba, this convoy appears to be the largest in several years. The fleet stayed between June the 12th and 17th and the public was allowed to take tours of the vessels. Cuban President Miguel Diaz Canel visited the frigate part of the fleet and interacted with the sailors. A fleet of Russian warships has left the port of Havana after a five-day visit to Cuba following planned military drills. Cuba's foreign ministry said none of the vessels had nuclear arms on board and the visit did not pose a threat to the region. But Russia's defense ministry said the Admiral Goshchov frigate and the Kazan submarine were both carriers of advanced weapons including hypersonic missiles Zircon. They earlier conducted missile drills in the Atlantic. The visit is an important symbol of support to the communist-run government in Cuba and its socialist ally, Venezuela, where the warships may sail to next after they finish in Havana. A series of social media posts claimed that Russian vessels had been seen firing missiles off the coast of Florida. A post on X by user Sprinter Family said, Russia is conducting naval exercises using nuclear submarines just 150 kilometers off the coast of Florida, US UPD illustrative video. The post included a series of clips showing what appeared to be missiles being fired from submarines and other naval positions. The video included the watermark Russian Ministry of Defense. The same footage was used in similar other social media posts that also claimed it showed missiles being fired. A post by commentator Dominic Michael Trippi, posted on June the 12th, 2024, also shared the video commenting, Russia just conducted major military exercises only 66 miles off the coast of Florida. However, the videos shared on X were not filmed off the coast of Florida. A reverse image search of the keyframes shows the footage was taken from a nuclear weapons test in 2018 in the White Sea, some 5,560 miles away from Cuba.